When my husband was a child, he and his family had a open fire in their living room. And one night when uh, they were roasting chestnuts, my uh, husband started to reach for the, the coal scoop, which had some chestnuts resting on it, um, so that he could eat them. And his father said to him, watch out, it's hot, or something like, that's hot. And my husband thought, yeah, I know the fire's hot, or I know the chestnuts are hot, or something along those lines. So he grabbed the coal scoop anyway, and uh, it having a, a metal handle, it had conducted a lot of heat from the fire, and uh, it gave him a really bad burn um, across his hand. Uh, the scar is still visible today. I know about this because my husband told me this once. It's a little story that he used to demonstrate how uh, it's possible to be um, fully confident in your um, in your understanding of a situation, but to be uh, completely wrong about it. Uh, his father was telling him that the coal scoop was hot, and although he heard the words and understood them perfectly, um, he still couldn't comprehend the meaning of them, and he just thought, yeah, the fire's hot. Uh, he thought the mean, he thought the warning meant something completely different. Since he told me that story, I think about that um, a lot. Uh, when I see someone responding to my videos who hasn't understood what I've said at all, but they uh, they are fully confident that they've understood everything. It's not a case of being um, stupid. Uh, I think it's more of a case of ignorance. Uh, there's there's nothing stupid about the way my husband grabbed the coal scoop handle. Um, he didn't understand the laws of convection of heat and how it related to metal as a conductive material. And when his father said, that's hot, he thought he was talking about the fire. So uh, he wasn't really to blame, and nor was his father to blame for not being precise enough in his language, because um, it seemed obvious to him that if he said, watch out, that's hot, that my husband would stop the motion that he was doing, which was to grab the coal scoop. Um, nobody was at fault in that situation, and nobody was being stupid, and yet uh, a minor disaster uh, occurred. I can't see a reasonable way that it could have been avoided other than to uh, make a coal scoop with a, with a wooden handle, which was, uh, I think, making a metal metal handled coal scoop is a very bad design choice, personally. But as for my videos and the people who misunderstand them, I don't really know what to do, since the way that I make my videos is sort of natural as it as the thoughts occur to me, so it's not... I'd have to go to a lot of lengths to describe exactly every step that led to what I'm thinking, although I try to do that in a, a reasonable manner. Um, it's just not going to be uh, understandable for everyone who hasn't uh, who isn't sympathetic to my worldview or hasn't encountered any... Uh, ideas similar to the ones I'm talking about. Or I could make much longer videos where I go very deep into everything I've said and uh, point out lots of tedious details and caveats, um, but I think that would be frustrating to watch for a lot of my viewers, so I don't really know what to do other than to um, just let people misunderstand what I've said. The people who disagree with me are likely to be either confused by my videos or just um, completely misunderstand them and believe that they've understood completely what I've said but actually not gathered any of it. And those are the people who I want to be reaching the most, really, are the people who disagree with me and yet they seem to be the ones who don't understand at all. So I end up making videos that only people who agree with me already can enjoy and that seems like a bit of a waste of my time, so I guess what I'm saying is, what am I doing? Is there something I could be doing in my videos that would make them more understandable, but still um, as entertaining? Um, I mean, I see uh, intellectuals talking on YouTube a lot who are very good at making their arguments understandable, um, at least in my opinion, but um, I don't know exactly what I'm doing wrong, or maybe I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, I'd really appreciate some feedback uh, on this, and aside from that, I think the um, the the fire is hot, but the coal scoop is not is a uh, is an allegory that I, I thought that you um, might find useful to apply to to your life to understand how the the people you encounter aren't always just um, stupid. Sometimes they're just not looking at things in the right way, in the same way that you're trying to say them. And I think this is what happens with um, a lot of arguments where people just talk past each other for an outrageous amount of time without realising that the person they're talking to does not understand what they're saying at all and just and projecting their own image of what they think you are onto you. Um, and you can do that for a very long time without noticing um, if you're not paying attention. So uh, what I try to do is look out for... Um, 
I guess you could call it coal scoop thinking. Uh, it's also um, related to the Dunning-Kruger effect, which I talked about in another video. So in conclusion, um, watch out for uh, coal scoop thinking in uh, in yourself and in others, because I think in both instances it, it can be really helpful to um, notice it and realise what's happening and that the, the person you're talking to isn't just being um, obstinate or stubborn, they might genuinely not know what you're talking about, even though you think you've explained it very well. Um, and the same thing, if you if if someone keeps telling you that you don't understand what they're saying, then it's possible that you don't understand and you think you do, um, which is harder to identify in your own self, but something that I think is worth at least thinking about as a possibility. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching, and please leave your comments below if you have any suggestions for how I might make my videos more understandable. That would be um, especially helpful. Thank you.